Chapter 251 Eat, Sleep and Fight Bald The Residents of the Golden Spirit God of War Xinghuan Sect Why did he come out? When the one-armed madman and the little girl noticed this familiar breath, a trace of fear flashed in their eyes. Above the Red Leaf Valley Another new official prodigal guard has come out? Looking at the black-cloaked man in front of him, Yi Fong also showed a trace of surprise. You know, the barefoot bald guy who just ran back with a horrified look on his face, was the one who crushed the strange white calamity cloud with one foot in the Tian Dao battlefield. As a result, the black-cloaked man snatched the opportunity to get some fresh air, and he didn't even dare to fart. It can be seen that the black-cloaked man's strength is absolutely terrifying. Greetings, my lord. The black-cloaked man knelt on one knee in the air toward Ji Fong, and shouted with an extremely respectful expression. Get up. To be honest, I'm a little curious about your strength. You, the barefoot bald guy who just ran back, the one-armed madman, and the little girl, who is the strongest among you. After letting the man in black stand up, Yi Fong asked curiously. My lord, the barefoot bald guy who just ran back ranks tenth, the one-armed guy ranks sixth, the little girl who loves lollipops ranks fourth, and I rank third. Hearing Yi Fang's question, the man in black also answered respectfully. Is that barefoot bald guy the last one? Hearing what the man in black said, Yi Fong also showed a touch of surprise. At the beginning of the Tian Dao battlefield, the barefoot bald guy's heaven-shaking kick shocked him extremely. He thought the other party was very strong, but he turned out to be the last one? This time, the barefoot bald guy should be selected. Why did you come out? You robbed him of an opportunity to come out for fresh air. Will you compensate him after you go back? After understanding the strength of the four people, Yi Feng continued to chat. As for the flower rain god of war behind him and the three hostile national guardian gods not far ahead, they were unable to move at all under the pressure of the black-cloaked man's breath. My lord, I just want to come out and see the world you live in. As for the opportunity to rob the barefoot bald guy of his ventilation, when I go back, I will not beat him again in the near future, and I will not let others beat him. The black-cloaked man said in a serious voice. Compensating him means not beating him up in the near future? Moreover, from what he said, the rest of the official loser guards would beat him up for no reason? Hearing this, a sentence popped up in Yi Feng's mind, Eat, sleep, and beat your head. Why did you beat him up? With doubt, Yi Feng asked again, because he was really curious about this matter. My lord. The ranking of the strength of our ten official prodigal guards is not fixed. For example, as long as the little girl eating lollipops can beat me, she will be the third and I will be the fourth. In order to constantly spur ourselves, we have jointly formulated a rule. The ninth-ranked one will beat the tenth-ranked one every day, the eighth-ranked one will beat the ninth and tenth-ranked one every day, and the seventh-ranked one will beat the eighth, ninth and tenth-ranked one every day, and so on. If you want to avoid being beaten, you can only make yourself stronger, strong enough to become the first person, and if the first person wants to keep the first place, he must continue to work hard to practice. This is a virtuous circle. At this point, the man in black paused, and then continued, My lord, I haven't beaten the one-armed and the little girl for a few days. To be honest, I miss them. Stunned. After listening to what the man in black said, Yi Feng was completely stunned, this is too much involution. You are all so strong, but you are still spurring yourself in this way. This is simply leaving no way for others to survive. My lord, do they need to be killed? Seeing that Yi Feng did not speak for a long time, the man in black also pointed at the three hostile national gods and asked. Kill them. Bang. Bang. Bang! As Yi Feng's voice fell, the man in black stretched out his hand and clenched it towards the three people, and the bodies of the three hostile national gods instantly turned into three groups of blood mist. Damn! It's too scary, they are three powerful people in the ascension realm. 
The Huayu war god, who was not far away, saw this scene, and was almost scared to death. My lord, if there is nothing else, I will leave first. After solving the three hostile national gods, the man in black was also ready to leave. Xiao Hei, what do you think of the Shantian continent where I am? Yi Feng suddenly asked when the man in black was about to leave. Xiao Hei? The man in black was also stunned when he heard Yi Feng address him, and then he silently accepted the name. My lord. The world you live in is too weak. If I take action, I can instantly wipe out all the creatures in this world. Xiao Hei looked at Yi Feng seriously and expressed his thoughts. Okay, you go back first. After letting Xiao Hei leave, Yi Feng also thought to himself, I have to speed up. In the shortest time, the whole clan will ascend to the upper realm as soon as possible. Why you war god, don't be nervous. I was just a guest in the residence of Jin Ling war god. I noticed that you were in danger, so I rushed over to save you. Seeing Huai Yu War God trembling and showing fear on the opposite side, Yi Feng also hurriedly explained. A moment later, after knowing Yi Feng's identity, Huai Yu War God said with gratitude, Young Master Yi, I will remember your life-saving grace. If you need me in the future, just ask. Huai Yu War God, don't say it. I really want to ask you for help. Let's go back to the Golden Spirit War God's mansion first. As he said that, Yi Feng took out a space portal and handed it to Huayu War God. The courtyard of the Golden Spirit War God's mansion. That's it. When Huayu War God walked out of the space crack, he saw a one-armed swordsman holding a blood-red rapier in the air suddenly turned into a red stream of light and disappeared from his sight. Suddenly, he thought of a person in his mind. That was the one-armed madman ranked sixth that Yi Feng and the man in black had mentioned before. Old Arrow You bastard, you ran away after you tricked me, are you still a human being? When the one-armed madman left, the bruised and swollen golden spirit war god looked around, but did not find the purple arrow war god, which made him angry and cursed. Old Jean Who was that one-armed swordsman just now? Looking at the furious Golden Spirit War God, Huayu War God found that Yi Feng had not come yet, and hurriedly asked, he wanted to confirm whether his guess was right. Old Hua, you are back? Great, don't worry about the one-armed swordsman for now, hurry up and go to Lao Jian's mansion with me, I will fight him. Seeing Huayu War God appearing below, Golden Spirit War God also quickly fell from the air then took out a space portal and activated it to leave the courtyard, not giving Huayu War God a chance to react. Even in his rage, Golden Spirit War God no longer cared whether to waste the space portal. What is going on? Seeing the Golden Spirit God of War leaving, Huayu God of War was afraid that something might happen, so he quickly took out a space portal and chased after him. Chapter 252 Old Ean, You Are Not a Human Being and you are stealing people's lives. Huh? Where are the people? When Yi Feng came to the courtyard of the Golden Spirit God of War's mansion, he found that there was no one here, which made him reveal a hint of doubt. Forget it, let's wait here first. It's too slow to do it one by one. I should think of something that can make the four national guardians of the Hongyu Kingdom do it together. Yi Feng stopped thinking about the disappeared Jinling War God and Huayu War God, and lowered his head to think. Outside the Jinling War God's mansion. Old Ghost, is the news accurate? That Yi Xiao is really a spendthrift, and there are extremely terrifying protectors around him? Silver Dragon War God directly asked Gui Song War God beside him. Old Silver, the news is quite accurate. The one-armed swordsman who just abused Lao Jin is one of the protectors of this Xi Xiao. Moreover, Ba Dao War God also reminded me that if Yi Xiao asks us for help and gives us hard work fees, we must accept it obediently, otherwise the consequences will be unimaginable. Let's go, Yi Xiao is back, and Lao Jin and Lao Hua are not here, so our chance to show off is here. As he said, 
Guizong War God took the lead and walked into the Jinling War God's mansion. Young Master Yi! What are you doing? In such hot weather, this kind of hard work should be left to us. When the two war gods came to the courtyard of the Golden Spirit War God, they found Yi Feng digging a hole in the ground with a hoe in the courtyard. The Ghost Song War God rolled his eyes and ran towards Yi Feng while shouting. Hmm? Hearing this shout and seeing the two strange old men running towards him, Yi Feng also showed a hint of doubt because he did not know these two old men. Who are you? Seeing the war god Guaid Song who snatched the hoe from his hand, Yi Feng also asked, in confusion. Young Master Yi, I am war god Guaid Song, and this is war god In Long. We are both the national protectors of Hongyu Kingdom. I just went to the residence of war god Ba Dao. We are all clear about young master Yi's situation. If young master Yi needs us, just speak up. Hearing Yi Feng's inquiry, war god Guaid Song, who started digging the pit, also hurriedly explained. What? What's going on? Is this still the war god Guaid Song I know? Is he flattering young master Yi? Even if the other party is a spendthrift and has powerful protectors around him, he doesn't have to do this. Looking at war god Guaid Song who entered the working state directly, war god In Long on the side was stunned. This war god Guaid Song is smart. Hearing War God Guaid Song's words, looking at War God Guaid Song who entered the working state directly, Yi Feng also showed a smile. Guaid Song War God, then I'll trouble you to help me dig a big pit that is 30 meters long, 20 meters wide, and 5 meters deep. But I won't let Guaid Song War God help me for nothing. I wonder what you need most, Guaid Song War God? Yi Feng asked with a smile to such a thoughtful Guaid Song War God. What do you need most? Are you going to pay me for my hard work? After hearing what Yi Feng said, the ghost song god of war thought for a while, and then said, Young Master Yi, I actually want to rebuild the weapon in my hand, so I need a piece of ghost Yu Xianin stone. Stare. Hearing this, the silver dragon god of war on the side almost popped his eyes out. Are you crazy, old ghost? You want Ghost Yu Xianin Stone, just for helping me dig a pit? That's Ghost Yu Xianin Stone, an extremely rare special spiritual ore in the Tiandao battlefield. Even if young Master Yi has it, will he give it to you? The Silver Dragon God of War, who had recovered, crossed his hands in front of his chest. He was already waiting to see the joke of the Ghost Song God of War. System, you said before that gifts and hard work fees can also be replaced by special items. This ghost song god of war helped me dig such a big pit and gave me a big piece of ghost Yu Xianin stone. It's not too much, right? Yi Feng didn't think about what kind of spiritual or this ghost Yu Xianin stone was. If someone helped him work, he would give hard work fees. He could both squander his family and gain squandering points. Why not? Ding. A large piece is beyond the reasonable range of spending. Hmm? Hearing the answer given by the system, Yi Feng frowned, but soon, he suddenly thought of one thing, that is, the large piece he thought of and the large piece the system thought of might have a little error. System, what about the small piece? Thinking of the small piece of spirit-breaking stone awarded by the system before, which turned out to be more than 10 meters high, Yi Feng felt that even a small piece would exceed the reasonable range of waste. Ding! Please tell me the size in detail. Alas! Hearing the sound of the system again, Yi Feng sighed helplessly. Since the system said so, either a small piece is beyond the reasonable range of waste, or in the concept of the system, there is no such thing as a small piece. A piece of ghostly mysterious in stone with a diameter of one meter and a height of one meter. Ding. It is within the reasonable range of waste. Hearing the response of the system, Yi Feng also laughed and took the ghostly mysterious in stone out of the system space directly. Peng. 
As a muffled sound sounded, the ghost sung God of War who was digging a pit and the silver dragon God of War who was waiting to watch the excitement on the side couldn't help but look over. Ghostly God of War, this ghostly mysterious in stone is a little small, and I hope you don't dislike it. Yi Feng also looked at the ghostly God of War and said with a smile. Small? You call such a big ghostly mysterious in stone small? Thinking that the ghostly mysterious in stones he had fought so hard for hundreds of years in the Tiandao battlefield only added up to one twentieth of this ghostly mysterious in stone, the ghostly war god almost cried. It turned out that the gains he had gained after fighting so hard for hundreds of years were not as good as the hard work fee he got from digging a pit. Fuck. Oldine, what the hell are you doing? At this moment, the war god Guait Song saw the war god Silver Dragon bending over and digging the ground frantically with his hands. After a while, a pit slightly larger than the small pit under him appeared in front of him. Oldine, are you a human being? You are stealing the work. The war god Guait Song, who reacted, was also anxious. Although Yi Feng had already paid the hard work fee, he had to finish the work before he could get it, and it had to be a complete work. If the war god Silver Dragon took away half of the work, wouldn't he only get half of the ghost Yu Xianin stone later? Thinking of this, the war god Gui Song's eyes turned bloodshot and he directly swung the hoe in his hand, and the speed of waving the hoe was so fast that Yi Feng could only see the afterimage of the hoe. I'm such a fool. I was waiting to see the old ghost laugh, but who would have thought that he would get such a big piece of ghostly mysterious in stone? I have to grab at least half of this job. The silver dragon god of war, who was digging the pit with both hands like a dog paddle, whispered to himself with a firm look in his eyes. Chapter 253 Compared with He Shao, the two of us are poor. Too efficient. As expected of a god of war, he is like a human excavator when working. Looking at the two gods of war digging the pit in full swing, Yi Feng couldn't help but sigh. At this speed, it will probably be finished in a while. As for the silver dragon war god's hard work fee, let's talk about it after the work is completed. Anyway, the system will settle the reward only after they finish the work and take the hard work fee. Thinking of this, Yi Feng also walked to the side, took out a bunch of top-grade spirit crystals to build a spirit crystal bed, and then used the soul-devouring black green wood to make a large wooden parasol. Too good at enjoying it. Is this the daily leisure life of the prodigal god? The two war gods who were digging the pit frantically saw Yi Feng's leisure state at this time, and they all showed a touch of envy in their eyes. After a while, Young Master Yi, this big pit has been dug, but this is not my credit alone. I will take half of this ghostly blacking stone. At this time, the ghost sung war god also tentatively told Yi Feng what he thought in his heart, and at the same time, he did not forget to look at the silver dragon war god with an angry look. Take half? That won't work. This small piece of ghostly mysterious in stone is all yours. As for the hard work fee of Silver Dragon War God, I will give it separately. Hearing what Ghostly Tsung War God said, Yi Feng directly pushed the ghostly mysterious in stone in front of Ghostly Tsung War God. Ding! Congratulations to the host for triggering a wasteful behavior. Reward 10 million wasteful points, 100 barrels of golden nether jade soul water, and 100 super cultivation spirit pills, God level. Just as the ghost song god of war accepted the ghost Yu Xianin stone with excitement and gratitude, the system's reward prompt sounded in Yi Feng's mind. It actually triggered a special reward, and it was a hundred barrels of Jin Ming Jade Soul Water? It's useless to keep this thing, and it's a hundred barrels, not small barrels, but the kind of barrels with a diameter of two meters and a height of five meters. Thinking about it, Yi Feng's eyes suddenly fell on the huge earth pit in front of him. I got it. I originally thought of asking the four war gods to fetch water, and then fill this earth pit with water and make it into a swimming pool. Now that we have this Jin Ming Jade soul water, we won't fetch ordinary water. 
Thinking of this, Yi Feng couldn't wait to enter the swimming pool that was about to be filled with Jin Ming Jade's soul water and swim a lap. Silver Dragon God of War, if you want something as a hard work fee, don't be polite, just say it. Controlling his mood, Yi Feng was still ready to settle the hard work fee of the Silver Dragon God of War first. Master Yi. I want a demon flame dragon grass. Hearing Yi Feng's question, Silver Dragon God of War also expressed his thoughts with a little nervousness. Hmm? Just one? Hearing what Silver Dragon God of War said, Yi Feng also said directly to the system, System, Silver Dragon God of War used his hands to help me dig a hole in a doggy paddle, so it's not too much to give ten demon flame dragon grasses as hard work fees. Although the Silver Dragon War God only asked for one, how could Yi Feng only give one? Ding. The number is too low, not within the reasonable range of squandering. Hearing the system's response, Yi Feng was also stunned, and then continued to ask, What about the 100 plants? Ding. The number is within the reasonable range of squandering. Done. At this time, Yi Feng looked at the somewhat nervous Silver Dragon War God, and directly took out 100 plants of Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grass and said with a smile, Silver Dragon War God, these are 100 plants of Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grass, you keep them. 100 plants. Wait, this is a 10,000-year-old Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grass? When the Silver Dragon War God found that the Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grass that Yi Feng took out was actually all 10,000 years old, he was shocked. Damn it, for hundreds of years, I treated you as treasures. The Silver Dragon War God, who reacted, directly took out the eight 1,000-year-old Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grass that he had been collecting, and then threw it directly to the ground and buried it with soil under the shocked eyes of the Ghost Sung War God. Buried. Laoying actually buried those eight precious plants. Seeing this, Guait Sung War God couldn't believe his eyes, but when he saw the 100,000-year-old Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grass, he quickly let it go. If it were him, he might have buried it a little deeper. Bang, at this moment, with a muffled sound, another one-meter-high ghostly mysterious in stone was taken out by Yi Feng, along with a hundred demon flame spirit dragon grasses. Two war gods, I would like to ask you for a favor. Looking at the two war gods who were in shock and confusion, Yi Feng also smiled and explained. Give it back. Even if it's hard work money, you can't give it like this. If you give it like this a few more times, we will be arrogant. Looking at the hard work money that Yi Feng took out again, the two war gods felt that the ghostly mysterious in stone and demon flame spirit dragon grass in their hands were no longer attractive. Pung. 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 Yi Feng didn't know what the two war gods were thinking at this time but began to take out the large wooden barrels filled with Jin Ming Yuhu and water and put them in the earth pit. Two war gods, there is some water in these fifty wooden barrels. I would like to trouble you to pour the water into the earth pit. After all the water is poured out, see how much is left to fill up the big earth pit. Then I will take more, and you continue to pour. After putting the fifty wooden barrels into the earth pit, Yi Feng also looked at the two war gods and explained the next work arrangement. Young Master Yi. Can you let the two of us do something difficult? Otherwise, we will feel uneasy to take this hard work fee. After hearing Yi Feng's words, the ghost sung war god also looked at Yi Feng and said with a wry smile. Ghost sung war god. This is already a very difficult task. If the difficulty is increased, this hard work fee will not be enough. I have to continue to increase the hard work fee. Yi Feng heard the other party's words and explained seriously. Collapse. Hearing Yi Feng's words, the mentality of the ghost song god of war and the silver dragon god of war collapsed. They couldn't accept that the sweethearts they had been looking for all their lives were so cheap. Dig a pit, pour some water and all the sweethearts are there. Old ghost, accept this cruel fact. Compared with Yi Xiao, the two of us are poor. 
The sweethearts in our eyes are garbage in Yi Xiao's eyes. Let's calm down. To be honest, I am a little envious of Lao Jin and Lao Hua now, because they don't know what we have experienced in such a short time. After speaking, the silver dragon god of war jumped into the pit, covered his right hand with spiritual energy, lifted a large wooden barrel and flew to a height of seven meters, and began to pour the water in it into the pit. Hearing this, the ghost god of war also revealed a bitter smile, then jumped into the pit, lifted up a large wooden barrel and flew into the air, also pouring the water inside into the pit. Chapter 254 Breaking Through the Ninth Peak of the Cave Void Realm, Super Luxurious Swimming Pool Golden Nether Jade Soul Water However, when the two war gods saw that what was poured out of the bucket was not ordinary water at all, but the golden jade soul water with golden light, they all exclaimed with their eyes wide open. Old ghost, if Lao Jin saw this, would he go crazy directly? After being shocked, Silver Dragon War God also looked at Guaitsung War God with an uneasy face and asked. What do you mean? He will definitely go crazy directly. If there is this Jin Mingyu soul water, his body can be tempered to the extreme. It is no exaggeration to say that by then, the three of us will not be his opponents. Hearing the question of Silver Dragon War God, Guaitsung War God also gave a positive answer directly. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the wasteful behavior, reward 10 million wasteful points, reward super shoaling pill, god level, asterisk 100. Just as Yi Feng was watching the two war gods pouring the Jin Ming Yu soul water into the pit, the system's reward prompt sound suddenly rang in his mind. This reward should be the reward for settling the hard work fee of the silver dragon god of war, thus triggering the wasteful behavior. Then my wasteful points have reached 900 million now, it's time to break through. Wait until I break through to the ninth peak of the cave void realm, and then get the two war gods hard work fees, triggering the wasteful behavior reward, and the wasteful points rewarded will definitely exceed 10 million points. Thinking of this, Yi Feng directly said to the system, System, consume 900 million waste points to increase your strength to the ninth peak of the cave void realm. Boom. 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 As the breath of breakthrough continued to appear, it directly shocked the ghost song war god and silver dragon war god who were pouring water. Old silver, what is Yi Xiao doing? Can the breakthrough be so breakthrough? Looking at Yi Feng lying on the spiritual crystal bed and breaking through madly, the ghost song war god was completely dumbfounded. Old ghost, although it is hard for me to believe it, the facts are in front of us. Besides, your wording is wrong. What is a breakthrough? Yi Xiao's breakthrough should be called a thump 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 breakthrough. Looking at Yi Feng's crazy breakthrough, the silver dragon war god also smiled bitterly and expressed his thoughts. After a moment, others need to be fully prepared after a breakthrough. And after the breakthrough, it takes some time to stabilize the cultivation. But it's okay for Master Yi to break through suddenly, but how can he fall asleep after the breakthrough? When the Ghost Song War God and the Silver Dragon War God came to Yi Feng after pouring 50 buckets of Jin Ming Yu Huan water, they found that Yi Feng was actually asleep at this time, which hit the two war gods hard. It's okay to have good things in hand, and the extremely arrogant prodigal can be tolerated but how can he be so perverted in cultivation? This is simply a crazy attack on them from all directions without dead ends. Hmm? At this moment, Yi Feng slowly opened his eyes and saw the two war gods standing in front of him. He stood up and looked into the big earth pit. There's some water seepage. Besides, this swimming pool looks a bit too shabby now. Releasing his spiritual sense, Yi Feng found that the Jinmingyu soul water in the big earth pit was seeping into the surrounding ground little by little, and the whole big earth pit looked extremely shabby. He felt that it should be strengthened a little. Old ghost, what is Yi Xiao going to do again? Looking at Yi Feng, who kept throwing the top grade spirit crystals into the big earth pit, the silver dragon war god also asked the ghost song war god beside him directly. 
If nothing unexpected happens, we have work to do again. The ghost song war god guessed something at this time, but he didn't explain it to the silver dragon war god. Whether the guess was right or not, we will know after seeing how Yi Feng arranged it. Two war gods, do more work and use these top-grade spirit crystals to pave the surroundings and the ground of this big earth pit, otherwise it will look too shabby. Don't worry, I will calculate the hard work fee separately. After throwing for a while, Yi Feng looked at the two war gods and said aloud, and he didn't know how much he had thrown. Anyway, if it was not enough, he would continue to replenish it later. Afterwards, Yi Feng took out another forty barrels of Jinminjia soul water, ready to wait for the two war gods to lay the top-grade spirit crystals, and then used these forty barrels of Jinminjia soul water to completely fill the swimming pool. After a long time. It's such a waste. Too damn luxurious. Too damn arrogant. Looking at the luxurious swimming pool in front of him, Silver Dragon War God couldn't help but sigh. Old Silver, this is Mr. Ye's daily life. We can't envy it. Let's calm down. As he said that, Ghost Song War God walked directly towards the two ghost Yuxianine stones not far away. They were the hard work fee for pouring water and laying spiritual crystals. Alas, I have lived in vain for hundreds of years. I can't envy it. Sighing, Silver Dragon War God also walked directly towards the 200 Demon Flame Spirit Dragon Grasses that belonged to him. Ding! Congratulations to the host for triggering the prodigal behavior, and you will be rewarded with 100 million prodigal points and 100 super spiritual cultivation pills, God level. Ding! Congratulations to the host for triggering the prodigal behavior and you will be rewarded with 100 million prodigal points and 100 super spiritual cultivation pills, god level. Ding. Remind the host, the welfare task, belonging to the god of war Guait song is over. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the prodigal behavior, and you will be rewarded with 100 million prodigal points and 100 super spiritual cultivation pills, god level. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the prodigal behavior, and you will be rewarded with 100 million prodigal points and 100 super spiritual cultivation pills, god level. Ding. Remind the host, the welfare task, belonging to the god of war In Long, is over. Hmm. Hearing the system prompt sound continuously, Yi Feng's brow slightly frowned, and he thought to himself, this welfare task can only trigger three prodigal behaviors on each war god? But the prodigal points for triggering prodigal behavior have been increased to 100 million points, which is not bad. Although it takes 9 billion prodigal points to break through to the peak of the ninth level of the tribulation realm, Yi Feng is not worried about this problem at all. He is worried that the strength improvement of others will not keep up with his speed, including his master Luo Chanchue. Thinking of this, Yi Feng also showed excitement and jumped directly into the luxurious swimming pool. Then he directly released the ice attribute spiritual power to quickly lower the temperature of the Jin Ming Yuhuan water in the swimming pool, thereby achieving a cooling effect. Two war gods, come in and enjoy it together. Stare. When the ghost song war god and the silver dragon war god heard what Yi Feng said, they also widened their eyes suddenly. They couldn't believe that they could enter this luxurious swimming pool to enjoy it. Not long after, as two space cracks appeared above the courtyard, the Golden Spirit War God and the Flower Rain War God also walked out of it. Pa! 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 When the Golden Spirit God of War in the Air saw the luxurious swimming pool below and noticed that the pool was filled with golden soul jade water, he slapped himself several times with a dull expression and once wondered if he was hallucinating. Chapter 255 I was scared to death. The name my lord gave me was really good. Old Jean. Old Hua. The sun is scorching, don't stand up there, come down and have fun together. Just when the golden spirit god of war couldn't believe what he saw, the ghost song god of war, who was swimming in the pool with a doggy paddle, 
saw the two of them and laughed and shouted. Old Jean. This big pit is called a swimming pool, and it's full of Jean Ming Jade Soul water. It's very cool. Come down and have fun together. At this time, the silver dragon god of war on the side also shouted to the golden spirit god of war. God damn, have fun. That's the Jean Ming Jade Soul water. My beloved treasure that I had been pursuing for hundreds of years. The previous artificial rainfall of the Jean Ming Jade Soul water was not enough, and a large swimming pool of the Jean Ming Jade Soul water was brought. How much does ye shall hate me for refusing the hard work fee twice before? Thinking of this, the golden spirit god of war almost cried. Old Jean, although I am a little confused now, I really want to go down and have fun, so I'll be happy first. At this time, the flower rain god of war on the side finished speaking, and the whole person jumped directly into the luxurious swimming pool below. It's so cool. It's so damn cool. It's so cool to put away all my cultivation and enjoy everything as an ordinary person. After jumping into the cool swimming pool, Huayu War God also showed a look of extreme enjoyment. Peng. At this time, Jinling War God also landed on the edge of the swimming pool. Looking at the full Jinming Yuhu and water in it and the few people playing in it, he felt that his heart was bleeding. Huh. What is this? At this moment, Jinling War God suddenly felt something under his feet. He pushed aside the outer layer of soil and saw the eight demon flame dragon seeking grass buried inside. He was shocked. Fuck. Oldine, can you be more careful? These eight demon flame seeking dragon grasses are your precious treasures. Why did you just throw them here? What if they are stepped on and broken? The Golden Spirit War God, who had reacted, also shouted loudly to the Silver Dragon War God in the swimming pool. Just step on that broken thing. If you don't like it, please help me bury it deeper. I am annoyed when I see them now. Broken thing? You call these eight demon flame-seeking dragon grasses broken things? Among these eight plants, two of them were taken back from the Tiandao battlefield by me and you at all costs. You call them broken things now, and you ask me to bury them deeper? Hearing what the Silver Dragon War God said, the Golden Spirit War God was going crazy. He felt that the situation here was becoming more and more abnormal. Golden Spirit War God, Flower Rain War God. Come here first, I have something to ask you for help. At this time, Yi Feng, who came out of the swimming pool, also shouted to the two War Gods. Young Master Yi, to be honest, this Jin Mingyu soul water is extremely important to me. Seeing the Jin Mingyu soul water in this large swimming pool, I almost suffocated with heartache. If you ask me to build a small swimming pool with my own hands, I really can't do it, I can't do it even if I'm beaten to death. After hearing Yi Feng's idea of building a small swimming pool, the Golden Spirit God of War directly chose to refuse without any hesitation. Although the things were not his, he really couldn't do it by himself to use up so much Jean Mingyu soul water, even if the one-armed swordsman would come and beat him up again. Jean Ling War God, you only need to dig the pit and lay the top-grade spirit crystals. After the job is done, for small buckets of Jean Mingyu soul water. Because he had completed a wasteful act on Jean Ling War God before, this time Yi Feng was only going to arrange two jobs for him. As for the other party not wanting to do it, it can only prove one thing, that is, the benefits given are not enough. Old Jean. What are you doing? Are the words you just said all bullshit? Didn't you say that you would never build a small swimming pool by yourself? Seeing that Jean Ling War God ran to the side and quickly dug the pit with both hands, why you War God on the side really couldn't stand it. As a powerful person in the Ascension realm, how could he be so untrustworthy? After scolding, Huayu War God also ran over anxiously, took out his Huayu Xianbing knife, and started digging on the other side, fearing that he would be slower than Jin Ling War God. After all, he had just heard about Yi Xiao from Guizong War God and Yin Long War God, 
and he wanted to help Yi Feng do more work so that he could get the black Xianhua Matsao he wanted. It's finally over. I will get the reward to the Golden Spirit War God and the Flower Rain War God later, and I can trigger five more prodigal behaviors, which will get another 500 million prodigal points and 500 super spiritual cultivation pills. By then, the prodigal points will reach 900 million points, and the super spiritual cultivation pills will reach 1,200. I don't know if these are enough for them. Since he has the heart to ascend to the upper realm, Yi Feng is a little impatient to ascend to the upper realm. As for this method of forcing things to grow, Yi Feng is not worried that it will have any bad effects on everyone. With the guidance of the one-armed madman, these are not a problem at all. Should I give the one-armed madman and the little girl a name? Thinking of this, Yi Feng suddenly realized something. He even named the Golden Armor Guard, who was very good at dealing with things, Yi Yi. It's time to give these two official prodigal guards a name. Holding a blood-red rapier, let's call him Yi Xiao Jian. She loves lollipops, let's call her Yi Tanger. Oh, and that barefoot bald guy, let's call him Yi Xiao Guang. Thinking of this, Yi Feng suddenly frowned, because he remembered that he called the man in black Xiao Hei, Yi Xiao Hei is a bit too bad. After all, the other party is also the third-ranked official prodigal guard. Forget it, it's too difficult to name him, let's call him Yi Xiaohei, who made him wear a black suit. Soon, Yi Feng stopped worrying about the name of the man in black and decided on the name directly. A certain space. Yi Xiaohei? Ha ha ha. Brother Xiaohei, this name actually fits your image and temperament in black clothes. I was almost scared to death just now. I thought my master would call me Yi Da Jiao, then I would really collapse. Yi Xiao Guang fits my bald image. The barefoot bald man also said excitedly to the black clad man with an ugly face. Oh. Does this name fit my temperament? In that case, you should have been beaten these days, but I have to bear it for you. Later, I will return them to you one by one. Don't ask me the reason. The reason is that you have the temperament that fits the beating. Hearing the barefoot bald man's words, the black clad man also looked at the bald man with a smile. Seeing the other party's playful smile, the bald man panicked for no reason, and regretted it in his eyes. He regretted that he had no reason to provoke this pervert. Isn't this just asking for a whip? Chapter 256 Damn why did the thunder strike the wrong way? The courtyard of the Golden Spirit God of War's mansion. Looking at the Golden Spirit God of War who took away four barrels of Jinming Jade Soul Water and the Flower Rain God of War who took away three hundred black Xianhua Matsao, Yi Feng also waited for the system's reward. Ding! Congratulations to the host for triggering three consecutive prodigal behaviors, reward three hundred million prodigal points, Reward Super Shoaling Pill, God Level, Asterisk 300. Ding. Remind the host, the welfare task, belonging to Huayu War God is over. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering two prodigal behaviors in a row, Reward 200 million prodigal points, Reward Super Shoaling Pill, God Level, Asterisk 200. Ding. Remind the host, the welfare task, belonging to Jin Ling War God is over. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the welfare task within one day, triggering hidden rewards, reward 1 billion prodigal points, reward super shoaling pill, god level, asterisk 1 million, 1 million. Fuck. This welfare task has hidden rewards? Yi Feng was really shocked when he heard the hidden rewards released by the system at the end. Rewarding 1 billion prodigal points is nothing, but rewarding 1 million super shoaling pills can basically solve the problem of improving the cultivation of everyone in the sect. Now the prodigal points have reached 1.9 billion. How about I consume 1 billion prodigal points first and break through to the first level of the tribulation realm? After checking his current prodigal points, Yi Feng soon had the idea of breaking through. Old Jean. Old Hua. 
You two didn't see it just now. Yi Xiao's strength was still at the peak of the ninth level of the Yuanchen realm before. As a result, without any preparation, he began to break through while lying on the spirit crystal bed, and directly broke through to the peak of the ninth level of the Dongshu realm. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I would never believe that there is such a crazy way of breaking through in the world. Old Ghost is right. Yi Xiao's breakthrough method is 2F asterisk king scary. Moreover, even if others break through a small realm, they need to spend a few days to stabilize their cultivation. Who would have thought that Yi Xiao would fall asleep directly after breaking through a whole realm? Is this something a human can do? In the luxurious swimming pool, Guaitsong War God and Silver Dragon War God also talked about Yi Feng's crazy breakthrough method just now. Boom. At this moment, a strong breakthrough aura suddenly broke out from the small swimming pool next to it. Look. It's this kind of breakthrough aura, it just appeared nine times. You two just showed an expression of disbelief, this time. Speaking of this, the ghost song god of war was stunned, and then turned his head to look at Yi Feng in the small swimming pool. When he found that Yi Feng was really attacking the tribulation realm, his face also showed a look of collapse and shouted, Didn't you just break through a major realm, why is it breaking through again now? Is it because you didn't hit Lao Jin and Lao Hua just now, so you are going to make up for it? It's different. Old Ghost, this time Yi Xiao directly broke through from the peak of the ninth level of the Cave Void Realm to the first level of the Tribulation Realm, and he had to withstand an ordinary Thunder Tribulation. But he won't prepare? I can barely accept it if he just shows some appreciation. Looking at Yi Feng lying on a wooden board in the small swimming pool, drinking fine wine, and not taking the upcoming Thunder Tribulation seriously, Silver Dragon God of War's mentality also collapsed. Old Ghost, Old Silver, Old Flower, look up. With the exclamation of the Golden Spirit God of War, the other three gods of war also looked up into the sky. The thunder cloud flashing with lightning appeared in the sky, but what puzzled the four gods of war was that the thunder cloud sometimes dispersed, sometimes condensed, and did not drop the thunder tribulation, which made them extremely puzzled. Old Jean, old silver, old flower, why do I feel that the thunder cloud seems to be hesitating, as if hesitating whether to drop the thunder tribulation? At this time, Guaitsung god of war always felt that there was something wrong with the thunder cloud, and he looked directly at the three people and expressed his thoughts. Old Ghost, although your idea is a bit ridiculous, I can't refute you for a while. Hearing the words of the war god Guaid Song, the war god Silver Dragon beside him frowned and responded aloud as he looked at the extremely abnormal calamity cloud in the sky. What's going on? Why is this calamity cloud playing on itself instead of dropping the thunder calamity on me? Yi Feng, who also discovered the abnormality of the robbery cloud, also showed a puzzled look, and then after getting up from the wooden board, he jumped directly to the ground beside him. Wait. Could this thunder robbery be afraid of me and dare not drop the thunder robbery at all? At this moment, Yi Feng suddenly remembered the scene when he was refining the divine pill in Tiandan City. He stood aside and dared not drop the pill robbery. Boom. Just when Yi Feng thought of this, the ordinary robbery cloud that kept hesitating in the air seemed to have finally made a decision. After quickly condensing into shape, a thick thunder robbery directly struck the open space beside Yi Feng. Although it dared not strike Yi Feng, it could strike the ground beside Yi Feng. It could strike crookedly, but it could not not strike. This was the last stubbornness of the way of heaven. Fuck. Crooked, crooked, can the thunder robbery strike crookedly? Seeing this scene, the ghost song war god was so shocked that his eyes almost popped out. Isn't this just picking up a big bargain for nothing? The other three war gods were so shocked when they saw this scene that they were speechless. After all, this was the first time they had seen such a situation. Fuck. Isn't this crooked? Yi Feng, who also noticed this situation, also showed a trace of anxiety, 
and then quickly moved his position and stood directly at the position where the thunder tribulation struck. However, something unexpected happened to everyone. The thunder tribulation that was struck at a very fast speed suddenly stopped in midair. Fuck. You three, hurry up and slap me. Am I dazzled? The thunder tribulation that struck me stopped in the air and then adjusted its position? After seeing the thunder tribulation that stopped in the air suddenly move a few meters to the left, the ghost song war god rubbed his eyes hard. He couldn't believe the weird scene in front of him. It's moving. Young Master Yi moved again. Young Master Yi moved towards the position where the thunder tribulation fell. At this time, the silver dragon war god beside him also exclaimed with his eyes wide open. I fucking saw it. Although it's unbelievable, this thunder tribulation clearly doesn't want to strike young Master Yi, but young Master Yi just wants to be struck. Who the hell would believe it if this was told to others? Looking at Yi Feng, who was constantly moving on the ground and the thunder tribulation that was constantly adjusting its position in the air, the Huayu war god went crazy. This cultivator was playing with the thunder tribulation? Young Master Ye's tribulation is like playing, and I'm also like playing. Who can stand this? Why do you want me to see this? The mentality of the golden spirit god of war on the side was completely broken at this time. Thinking back to when he was chased and struck by the thunder tribulation, and then looking at Yi Feng chasing the thunder tribulation now, they are both cultivators, but the gap is too fucking big. Chapter 257, Dog Heavenly Dao, Come on, Chop Me Up I just want to give the many guards a chance to get some fresh air, but you won't give them any chance at all. And they've been killed so many times before, what's the problem with this one? If I kill you again, you'll die. Finding that the thunder tribulation was always avoiding him, Yi Feng pointed at the tribulation cloud in the sky and started to curse. Provoking Heavenly Dao. Young Master Yi is actually provoking Heavenly Dao, is he crazy? Does Heavenly Dao really not dare to destroy him? Seeing Yi Feng pointing at the tribulation cloud in the sky and cursing crazily, the four war gods not far away were already stunned. Boom. 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 At this moment, an even more terrifying pressure from heaven and earth came crashing down, and the ordinary tribulation cloud in the sky also began to gradually turn into heavenly Tao tribulation cloud. Angry. Heavenly Tao is really angry this time. He is only at the first level of the tribulation realm, but he has actually caused the heavenly Tao tribulation cloud that can only be caused after reaching the peak of the ninth level of the tribulation realm. And this aura should be the aura of the first level of heavenly Tao thunder tribulation. Seeing the heavenly Tao tribulation cloud taking shape in the sky, the four great war gods were completely dumbfounded. They never thought that Yi Feng would dare to provoke Heavenly Tao and turn ordinary tribulation clouds into Heavenly Tao tribulation clouds. Come on. Come and chop me if you dare. Seeing the heavenly calamity clouds in the sky, Yi Feng excitedly shouted loudly. Boom. Several first-level heavenly calamities fell with a bang. Facing Yi Feng's endless provocation, the Heavenly Tao finally fought back. Fuck. Run. What are these things? We are here to watch the fun in the pool. You don't go to hit Yi Xiao, but you hit us. The four war gods found that several first-level heavenly calamities were coming directly at them, which made them stunned. After they reacted, they rushed out of the swimming pool and took out their defensive spiritual tools to resist the heavenly calamity. What the hell is going on? I angered the heavenly Tao, but the heavenly Tao didn't hit me, but went to hit the four war gods directly. Even the heavenly Tao knows how to pick on the weak? Seeing the four war gods not far away resisting one after another first-level heavenly calamity, Yi Feng was stunned. He really didn't expect that the heavenly Tao would play so coquettishly. Heavenly Tao! Come at me if you dare! Bullying these four weak and disabled old people is nothing. Yi Feng, who had recovered from his shock, 
cursed at the heavenly Tao tribulation cloud in the sky again. Weak and disabled old people? We are powerful people in the ascension realm. We are the four great war gods who protect the country of Hongyu kingdom. Hearing what Ji Feng said, the four war gods wanted to cry to death, however, at this moment, the pressure of the heaven and earth filled by the heavenly tribulation clouds in the sky surged again, and the condensed heavenly thunder tribulation was directly upgraded to the third heavenly thunder tribulation. Old Jean, Old Een, Old Hua, we seem to be in big trouble. The more ye shall curses the heavenly way, the angrier the heavenly way becomes, and then the heavenly way seems to vent all its anger on us. Sensing the changes in the heavenly tribulation clouds in the sky, the ghost song god of war suddenly made an extremely terrifying guess to the other three war gods. Let's get ready first. The next one is the third heavenly thunder tribulation. Although we can still withstand it, if it is upgraded to the ninth heavenly thunder tribulation, we can't withstand it. Hearing the terrifying guess of the ghost song god of war, the silver dragon god of war also reminded them with a serious look. Now I am worried about Lao Jin. After all, he is the weakest at the moment. He has not used the Jin Ming Jade Soul Water, given by Master Yi, to strengthen his body again. Without much preparation, I am afraid he can't even withstand a nine-layer heavenly Dao Thunder Tribulation. When he said this, Hua Yu War God was suddenly stunned because he suddenly found that Jin Ling War God, who was standing next to him before, suddenly disappeared. Fuck. Lao Jin, you are so sneaky. When Gui Song War God, Yin Long War God and Hua Yu War God found that Jin Ling War God had hidden next to Yi Feng, they also reacted at once, and at the same time couldn't help cursing. You three are stupid, and you blame me for being a thief? You know that the heavenly Tao dare not strike Yi Xiao, so you must hide beside Yi Xiao. You are so stupid to wait and resist the next third heavenly Tao thunder tribulation. You are so stupid. Looking at the three war gods running quickly from a distance, the golden spirit war god couldn't help but complain. Dog heavenly Tao, come and strike me. Hey, I left Yi Xiao, hey, I'm back to Yi Xiao, strike me. At this time, the Golden Spirit War God kept jumping out from Yi Feng, shouting, and then jumping back, playing alone and having a lot of fun. Golden Spirit War God Do you think there is a possibility? I mean possibility, that is, after I leave, will the Heavenly Tao strike you again? Seeing the Golden Spirit War God who was playing and forgetting himself, Yi Feng also asked a question with a serious face. Hmm? Hearing Yi Feng's words, the golden spirit god of war, who was about to jump out again, was stunned on the spot. He had never thought about this problem before, but now that Yi Feng reminded him, he suddenly panicked. And the three war gods who couldn't hold back and wanted to play like the golden spirit god of war heard Yi Feng's words, and all of them showed a trace of fear, because they felt that the possibility Yi Feng said was too damn possible. The heavenly tribulation clouds have dissipated. At this moment, everyone found that the heavenly calamity clouds in the sky suddenly dissipated, and the sky was clear again, as if nothing had happened before. Young Master Yi I'm a little panicked now. Seeing the dispersing heavenly calamity clouds, the face of the golden spirit war god also showed a trace of worry, because he didn't know if the heavenly calamity clouds would appear again once Yi Feng left. Don't worry, this matter was caused by me, and you also suffered an unprovoked disaster. If you are in danger of life, I will help you solve it. Looking at the uneasy golden spirit war god, Yi Feng also smiled and made a promise. For war gods, thank you for disturbing me today. We will meet again in the future. After saying that, Yi Feng directly activated the space portal and soon disappeared from the sight of the four war gods. Boom. Just after Yi Feng left, thunder rumbled in the sky, and the heavenly calamity clouds appeared in the sight of the four war gods again. And the breath of the fifth heavenly thunder tribulation soon permeated from the calamity clouds. After a long time, the heavenly tribulation cloud didn't threaten our lives, it took advantage of Master Yi. 
Old Jean, you provoke the heavenly Tao, why should the three of us suffer with you? My hair is all blown off, who did I offend? Hearing this complaint, seeing the three war gods sitting on the ground with their spiritual power exhausted, the golden spirit war god, who also had no strength in his body, collapsed and said, Can you say something useful? Remember, if Master Yi breaks through again in the future, we must stay away. At the bottom of Xinghuan Peak. Huh. Zhou Tong, Lei Hong, who are they? Arriving at the bottom of Xinghuan Peak through the space portal, Yi Feng pointed at the two people not far away, looked at Zhou Tu and Lei Hong with a puzzled look and asked. Chapter 258 Evil Apprentice Are you going to send your master to the graveyard? It's you. I remember you. I was standing next to you when Xing Hu and Sect recruited disciples. Before Zhou Tu and Lei Hong could answer Yi Feng's question, the young man standing not far away suddenly pointed at Yi Feng and exclaimed. When he noticed that Yi Feng was wearing the Xing Hu and Sect disciples' robe, he looked at Yi Feng with an unbelievable look and asked, After we left, you handed in 10,000 low grade spirit stones and joined the Xing Hu and Sect? Oh. Someone really handed in 10,000 low-grade spirit stones. Is there something special about the Xinghu insect that I, a disciple, don't know? Hearing the young man's words, the old man on the side looked at Yi Feng, and a thoughtful look appeared on his face. Young Master Yi. They just came here and said they wanted to visit the sect master. We were discussing who would go to inform him. At this time, Lei Hong on the side looked at Yi Feng and quickly explained. I'll report to Master. You too, although I don't know why you come to my Xinghuan sect, but you are a guest, please wait here for a while. After saying that, Yi Feng stepped directly onto the peak road and quickly rushed to the top of the peak. That kid found a master with the strength of the ninth level of the cave void realm. Is he here to show off? Since you want to show off, I must satisfy you. I just hope that after you and your master and disciple enter the sect, you will not be scared to the point of being unable to walk. Yi Feng, who was walking on the peak road, also showed a hint of expectation at this time. Master, aren't you here to help your disciples find a place? Why do we have to wait at the foot of the peak? Can't we just go up directly? Seeing Yi Feng leaving, the young man on the side also whispered in dissatisfaction. Something is wrong. This Xinghu insect is a little different from what you said. After saying these two sentences to the young man, the old man walked directly towards Zhou Tu and Lei Hong. You too, although the conditions for joining the Xinghu insect are a bit strange, with your strength, it shouldn't be difficult to come up with 10,000 low grade spirit stones. Why didn't you join the Xinghuan sect, but instead built a residence at the foot of this peak? The old man asked Zhou Tu and Lei Hong with a puzzled look on his face. Join the Xinghuan sect with 10,000 low-grade spirit stones? Ha ha ha. After hearing what the old man said, the two looked at each other and couldn't help laughing. It might have been easier to join the Xinghuan sect before, but now let alone 10,000 low-grade spirit stones, even if you hand in 100 million top-grade spirit crystals, you may not be able to join the Xinghuan sect. And we too don't even dream of becoming disciples of the Xinghuan sect. After all, even our two masters are just errand boys of the sect. How can we be qualified to become disciples of the sect? It's just a pity that even if we are the first and second peerless geniuses on the hidden dragon list, it is extremely difficult to join the Xinghuan sect as errand boys. We can only stay here and wait for the opportunity. Lei Hong looked at the old man and explained seriously. Ha ha ha. Only you two are still the first on the hidden dragon list. Pa. Before the young man on the side finished laughing, the old man slapped him in the face and stunned him. Master. They are the two bragging. Why do you hit me? Pa. Pa. Before the young man finished speaking again, the old man opened his hands left and right, and this time he beat the young man to be honest. 
My disciple has a bad character, I'm sorry to make you laugh. Seeing that the young man had completely calmed down, the old man looked at Zhou Tu and Lei Hong and said apologetically, However, I didn't expect that you two were the first and second peerless geniuses on the hidden dragon list. I wonder who your master is. Just when the old man was halfway through asking, two suffocating and terrifying auras suddenly descended, and two men wearing errant robes and wrapped in quilts under their waists fell from the sky and appeared directly in front of the four people. Master when Zhou Tu and Lei Hong saw that the people coming were Emperor Jin Luan and Emperor Qiyu, they also shouted respectfully. Master? Servants' robes? This breath of pressure made me suffocate, looking at the two men falling from the sky, the old man turned around with fear and prepared to leave. Although he didn't know what kind of terrifying realm the two men's true strength had reached, he knew one thing, any one of them could easily wipe him out. This terrifying existence was just a chores of the Xinghuan sect. He actually dared to accompany his disciples to find a place. This was not to find a place, this was to find a grave for himself. Master? Where are you going? Why did you leave? The young man found that his master suddenly turned around and left. This made him stunned. After reacting, he hurriedly chased after him. Let go. You evil disciple, I kindly accepted you as a disciple, but you want to send your master to the graveyard. Are you still a human being? The old man waved his hand and threw the young man who was holding his arm to the ground, and then cursed at the young man with anger in his eyes. Master, what do you mean by that? I don't understand. The young man lying on the ground was about to cry. He didn't understand what was going on. Shut up. Who the hell is your master? You can eat whatever you want, but you can't say anything you want. If you keep yelling, don't blame me for slapping you to death. Also, from now on, you'd better stay away from me, otherwise, I'm afraid I can't control myself and slap you to death. Finally, for the sake of the master-disciple relationship over the past few months, I advise you that this sect is a big terror. If you don't want to die, stay away from this sect. After saying that, the old man looked back at the two big terrors in the errant robes who didn't notice him, and then he soared into the sky with a touch of relief, and soon disappeared from the young man's sight. What are you doing? Didn't I just want to come here to show off? How come I didn't show off, but lost my master instead? But thinking of the master's last reminder, the young man quickly got up from the ground, looked back at the four people in the distance and no one noticed him, so he quickly ran away, thinking about escaping this place as soon as possible. A moment later, when Yi Feng brought Luo Chenchua to the foot of the peak, but did not find the figures of the young man and the old man, Yi Feng also looked at the Golden Will Emperor with a puzzled look and asked, Jin Luan, where are they? Young Master Yi, they left. Hearing Yi Feng's question, the Golden Will Emperor also spoke out quickly. Chapter 259 Good Disciple, Does Guzi Have the Super Spiritual Pill? Left? How did they leave? After hearing this, Yi Feng's face also showed a bit of confusion. The other party was clearly here to show off, so why did he leave before he started to show off? Puzzled, Yi Feng asked the Golden Will Emperor again. How did they leave? Hearing what Yi Feng said, Emperor Jin Luan walked forward quickly, and said to Emperor Qiu, who was watching the excitement on the side, Qiu, what are you looking at? Cooperate with me quickly, I can't perform alone. Hearing this, looking at Emperor Jin Luan, who was walking forward, Emperor Qiu wanted to kill him. He cooperated, but why did he have to play that stupid young man? Master, don't leave. Although he was unwilling, Emperor Qiyu rushed up immediately, grabbed Emperor Jin Luan's arms and shouted. Let go. If I had known that you were greedy for my body, I would not have accepted you as my disciple. It is better to suffer a short pain than a long pain. Our master and disciple are no longer friends. 
As he said, Emperor Jin Luan shook his hand and threw Emperor Qiyu to the ground. However, Emperor Qiyu, who fell to the ground, was stunned. What the hell is this plot? That's not how the master and disciple talked just now. Wait, couldn't that bastard Jin Luan have not listened to what the master and disciple said at all, and now he is just making up nonsense? Thinking of this, Emperor Qiyu was going crazy. How the hell was he supposed to continue? Seeing that Emperor Qiyu didn't say anything for a long time and stared at him with such a shocked look, Emperor Jin Luan was also panicked, because he really didn't listen to the conversation between the master and disciple before, he was talking to Zhou Tu the whole time, he just glanced at it casually and only remembered some actions. What a mess. Is this kind of person worthy of seeing me? No matter who wants to visit our Xinghuan sect in the future, let Elder Bai meet them first, don't come to me directly. Luo Chanchiwei couldn't stand it anymore, and turned around and flew to the top of the mountain with a slightly angry look. Master, wait for me. Yi Feng, who was standing aside, was also shocked when he saw the performance of Emperor Jin Luan and Emperor Qiu. He really didn't expect that the young man was so wild, but when he saw Luo Chanchiwei had left, he immediately chased after him. Huh. After seeing Luo Chanchiwei and Yi Feng leave, Emperor Jin Luan finally breathed a sigh of relief, and then looked directly at Emperor Qiu and cursed, Qiu, what happened to you just now? Why didn't you speak for a long time? Didn't you hear the conversation between the master and the apprentice? Fortunately, young master you didn't pursue it, otherwise you would be miserable. Hearing this, Emperor Chiyu's eyes almost popped out of his head in shock. He really didn't expect that Emperor Jin Luan could be so shameless. He didn't listen, but now he turned around and blamed him. Did he think he didn't listen either? Emperor Jin Luan, I just heard the conversation between the master and the disciple, and I heard it from beginning to end. Huh, hearing this, and seeing that Emperor Chiyu had even taken out the Chiyu rainbow sword, Emperor Jin Luan immediately revealed a majestic look and said, Chiyu, I now order you as the captain of the chores, quickly put away the Chiyu rainbow sword. Ha ha ha. Emperor Chiyu laughed and put away the Chiyu rainbow sword, then looked directly at Lei Hong and said, Lei Hong, beat him up, beat Zhou Tu so hard that even his master doesn't recognize him. Fuck. You two emperors are in a bad mood, don't vent your anger on a junior like me. Looking at Lei Hong, who was walking towards him step by step, Zhou Tu was going crazy. Chi Yu, you dare. I now order you as the captain of the chores. Before Emperor Jin Luan finished speaking, Emperor Chi Yu covered his ears and soared into the sky, flying directly towards the sect, not giving Emperor Jin Luan a chance to speak. In the sect hall. Master, these are 50,000 super spiritual cultivation pills. With these god-level pills that can increase your cultivation, I'm afraid that in less than a month, you will be able to break through to the peak of the ninth level of the tribulation realm. By then, with the help of the golden hut or the god-level tribulation breaking pill, it will be just around the corner to ascend to the upper realm. Yi Feng handed the space ring, containing 50,000 super spiritual cultivation pills, to Luo Chanchiwe. Are you touched? This time, I just want to ask you if you are touched. Under the influence of the power of the secret treasure, my current strength is only at the peak of the ninth level of the Purple Mansion realm, but I have given you all these god-level spiritual cultivation pills that increase your cultivation. You must be so moved that you will kiss me? Looking at the stunned Luo Chanchue, Yi Feng also revealed a smug look. Now it is just laying the foundation because most of the things on the Shantian continent are garbage in Luo Chanchiwei's eyes, so Yi Feng has never given Luo Chanchiwei anything good. But when he goes to the upper realm in the future, he will have to attack Luo Chanchiwei in the process of losing money. And Luo Chanchiwei didn't know at this time what she would experience when she returned to the upper realm in the future. If she knew, she would never be so eager to ascend to the upper realm. Yi Feng Good disciple. Master just wants to ask you one thing. Do you have these super spiritual cultivation pills? 
Just when Yi Feng was thinking about it, Luo Chanchua looked at him with a serious look and asked. Hearing Luo Chanchua's words, Yi Feng was completely dumbfounded. Shouldn't you give me a kiss out of gratitude? These are 50,000 super spiritual cultivation pills, which directly saved you nearly a hundred years of time. You didn't give me a kiss out of gratitude, but asked me if Guzi had any? Master, last time I gave you a normal shoaling pill, you asked me if Guzi had one. This time I gave you a super shoaling pill, and you asked me if Guzi had one. I don't understand. Why do you always compare with a dog? Yi Feng finally couldn't hold back his curiosity and looked directly at Luo Chanchua and asked. I compare with a dog? That's just me. Looking at the entire sect, except for the blood-sucking mantis that follows Guzi's ass every day, who else doesn't compare with that sword dog now? If you hadn't been so good to that sword dog and directly let us live a life worse than a dog, would we have this kind of comparison? Hearing Yi Feng's words, Luo Chanchua also directly expressed the thoughts of everyone in the sect. Fuck. No way, I'm only a little better at the sword dog, it's not that serious. Wait, I just used my spiritual sense to send a message to the dog, asking it to come to me to get the super spiritual pill. At this moment, Yi Feng suddenly thought of something. Just as he was about to send a message to the dog, asking it not to come over, the dog's excited voice suddenly rang out from outside the sex main hall. Chapter 260 The Dog Doesn't Believe What You Said Master I miss you so much. Seeing the little yellow dog wrapped in a quilt running towards him at a high speed, and looking at Luo Chanchue who was looking more and more uneasy, Yi Feng kicked the little yellow dog flying with a beautiful roundhouse kick. The little yellow dog flew backwards with an extremely confused look on his face. Didn't the master ask me to come here? We agreed to come here to receive the super shoaling pill, why did it suddenly become a super roundhouse kick? The little yellow dog that fell outside the sect hall was completely stunned. In the sect hall, Master, if there is nothing else, I will not disturb you from practicing. Looking at Luo Chanchue who was stunned, Yi Feng said a few words and left the sect hall with a smile. Next is the rest of the sect. Although the five Tianjiao, Bai Lei, Lung Wufeng, and Guzi are a little behind the master in strength, with the help of the little sword, they should be able to make up for this gap. Then the rest is me. Within a month, I must break through to the peak of the ninth level of the tribulation realm. After leaving the sect hall, Yi Feng also thought about these situations. Huh? Tanger, is there something wrong? By the way, from now on, you will be called Yi Tanger. Looking at the little girl who appeared beside him at some point, Yi Feng smiled and touched the other's little head, and then directly said the name he gave her. My lord. Can you help me change my name? I want to be called Yi Xiaotang. Hearing Yi Feng's words, the little girl eating a lollipop expressed her thoughts with a serious look. Hmm? Why is it called Yi Xiaotang? Isn't Yi Tanger nice? After hearing this, Yi Feng also showed a puzzled look and asked the little girl directly. My lord. I don't want my name to be out of tune with others. The ten of us are a whole, so I think it's better to call myself Yi Xiaotang. Hearing Yi Feng's question, the little girl hurriedly explained, and secretly thought in her heart, I must change it. If I can't change it, the three guys in front of me will definitely not let me have a good time when I go back. Is that so? In that case, then you should be called Yi Xiaotang. After thinking for a moment, Yi Feng agreed. At the same time, he also thought of one thing, that is, the matter of naming himself, which these formal prodigal guards should know. Master. Although I don't know why you kicked me away just now, can I make a small request? That is, when you kick me in the future, can you try not to kick my handsome dog face? When Yi Xiaotang left, the little yellow dog also hurriedly ran to Yi Feng and said with a wrong look. Peng. After completing a beautiful roundhouse kick, Yi Feng looked at the little yellow dog flying backwards again, and said to himself with a frown, 
this dog is good in every way, but it is getting more and more mean. How can it have the nerve to say that with its handsome dog face? A moment later. After Yi Feng distributed the super shoaling pill to Lung Wufeng, Bai Lei, Chu Xiaoxiao, Bai Tianhong, Xia Tianyu, Luo Kai, and others, he returned to his residence. The five Tianjiao are still in Tianji City. Let's give them the super shoaling pills when they come back. But there are still a lot of super shoaling pills left. Give some to Zhou Tu and Lei Hong tomorrow. After all, they are disciples of the two emperors, and they should ascend to the upper realm together at that time. As for my five direct disciples, let them develop in the lower realm first, but I am not in a hurry to let them ascend to the upper realm with me. Thinking of this, Yi Feng still has the last two people in his mind, one is his master Luo Wuming, and the other is Huang Xiaofei who volunteered to be his younger brother. He plans to ask the two tomorrow, and then decide whether to give them super shilling pills. Wait, did I forget something? At this time, Yi Feng always felt that he seemed to have forgotten something, and finally he didn't think about it directly. He fell asleep with his legs clamped under the quilt. Luxurious doghouse. Brother dog. My brother dog, you are uncomfortable, but why did you bite my clothes to pieces? Seeing that all his handsome white clothes were torn into pieces by the little yellow dog, the heart of the blood-eating mantis was broken. Brother mantis. Brother dog has fallen out of favor. The master gave everyone the super spiritual cultivation pill, but not me. Please help me think about it. Have I made the master unhappy in some way? The little yellow dog also looked at the blood-sucking mantis and asked. Brother dog. Do you think there is a possibility that the master has forgotten you? Hearing the little yellow dog's soul-searching question, the blood-sucking mantis didn't know how to answer and could only casually say an idea. Brother mantis, stop making trouble. The master loves me so much, and just rewarded me with two kicks. How could he forget me? The dog doesn't believe what you said. The next morning. When Yi Feng woke up, he did not immediately check the waste product of today, but directly activated the space portal and rushed to Xingji sect. Super spiritual cultivation pill? Quickly break through to the ninth peak of the crossing tribulation realm and then use the golden hut made of the golden silkworm star shine stone to directly withstand the nine heavenly Tao thunder tribulations, and directly break through to the ascension realm? After hearing what Yi Feng said, Luo Wuming was going crazy. Looking at the entire Shantian continent, any ascension realm powerhouse, which one is not a person of outstanding talent, even so, it takes hundreds of years of hard practice, and during this period, you have to go through countless life and death, and get countless opportunities. How can you take pills, squat in the toilet, and then ascend? Thinking of this, Luo Wuming felt that his Tao heart was about to collapse. Elder Yi, go slowly. I will definitely not live up to your expectations of me, these super spiritual cultivation pills, I will definitely take them well. Looking at Yi Feng, who disappeared in the space portal, Luo Wuming also showed excitement and looked at the space ring with super spiritual cultivation pills in his hand. Go to hell with Daoxin. The state of mind can be slowly honed through the seal cultivation, but if you miss this opportunity to increase your cultivation, you will really miss it. Thinking of this, Luo Wuming took the space ring and ran towards the back mountain of the sect. He planned to practice in seclusion for a period of time. During these days, the sect would have to let the five great ancestors take charge. The back mountain of the sect. Fuck. The five great ancestors ran away behind my back again. When Luo Wuming arrived at the back mountain and found that the five great ancestors were not here, he went crazy. He also wanted to go to Xinghuan sect to play, five great ancestors, play? You call that one-armed madman's hellish training play? You think we want to go? We can't help ourselves.